What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we are taking a look at what is probably one of the most important cars for Mercedes-Benz in a few years. This is the first dedicated development electric car by Mercedes-Benz. It is the EQS. Now you might think well we've had an EQC as well and an EQA. Those cars were basically rushed to market based on a platform that already existed and hence were not the best cars. So this car, the EQS, Mercedes has been working on this since 2015 and it has been developed from the ground up with a skateboard chassis. Uh, that means that the batteries are in the center and then we've got the 580 today, which means that we've got four wheel drive, one electric motor at the front, one at the rear. And if you go for the base version, which is the 450 plus, you get a rear motor only so you have rear wheel drive they're also coming out with a 762 horsepower performance version of the eqs later on um, which is really cool this already has 524 horsepower so today we're going to talk about the spec we've got this car in because it is absolutely delicious we'll take a look at the interior we'll take a look at all the tech you get on this car and then we'll take it for a drive towards the autobahn for an autobahn blast this video is brought to you by manscaped.com it's a new year so time for a new you your family jewels how do you treat them like an old volvo or do you treat them like a brand spanking new bmw no. Feeling your best starts with looking your best. And that means getting the Performance Package 4.0 from manscaped.com. So this is the Performance Package 4.0, including my favorite, the Lawn Mower 4.0. This is a great beard trimmer, but it has been developed with advanced skin safe technology to prevent nicks and cuts in your most sensitive areas. It's cordless and waterproof, so you can trim in the shower too. That's super convenient and makes for easy cleanup. It also has a cool wireless charging dock and it shows you how much juice you have left. Also included in the box, two products I never knew I needed. The Crop Reviver and the Crop Preserver. So this one you use after your shower for all day body odor protection. This one is a refreshing spritz with aloe vera to keep everything minty fresh down there. Your balls will thank you. It also includes their all new nose and ear hair trimmer, which is super convenient. Works a bit like that. It has these 360 degree rotary blades and skin safe technology to save your nose and ears from mix and cuts. For a limited time only, when you buy the performance package, you get two gifts. One is the shed travel bag, which is nice and handy to store all your stuff. And the other one is the Manscaped anti-chafing boxer short. So start the year off right, head to manscaped.com and get a 20% discount, free international shipping. These two free gifts if you use the code AutoTopNL at checkout. Enjoy the video. Now, design-wise, of course, it's a very special car to look at. I wouldn't say necessarily that it's a pretty car, but standing here, I don't think it's that pretty, but when you see it rolling, it, it actually, on the highway, it actually kind of works because it looks so futuristic and, and a bit weird. And on the road rolling with those 21 inch wheels, those multi-spoke wheels, it kind of works really well, actually. I kind of like it. So at the front, we've got a super round and smooth front end. That is because this is the most aerodynamically efficient production car ever made. It has a drag coefficient of 0 0.20, which is better than anything uh, ever basically and that is because of this weird droplet shape uh, it is a hatchback and it's supposed to be like an s-class competitor basically or huh. door handles are flush as with the new s-class uh, so it is supposed to be an s-class but it is a bit different it's not just an S-Class with electric motors, which I really like. So at the front, we've got this chrome strip and then we've got this LED bar across the front end because it kind of seems obligatory now that if you build an electric car that it's supposed to have a lot of light at the front. Uh, this is still quite manageable uh, even for electric cars. You have these crazy things nowadays. Oh, I sound like a grandpa. Uh, okay, moving on. Color-wise, this is a dark blue, nautic or nautical blue, 
is the color and um, it really works well on this car it, it's super like classy and elegant i really like it and then we've got these 20 one inch wheels multi-spoke and the idea of all the wheels you can get on this car is basically to cover the most amount of surface you can because that means that you have less turbulent air going here which means that it's aerodynamically more efficient behind that we've got pretty decent brakes but i have to say this car weighs two and a half tons you really feel that when you start braking and uh it, it kind of felt like the braking performance was a bit underwhelming so yeah i haven't driven it for too long so i can't really judge too much about that but first um first impressions not great then we've got chrome lining around the windows we've got privacy glass and why isn't this there we go privacy glass and then in here we've got yeah i I'm actually feeling bad to get into this car because you have these super light carpets and well they get dirty really really quickly but super nice leather here macchiato beige all this light stuff gorgeous seats as well with this super nice headrest it's actually quite nice to look at and it feels light and airy yeah I am actually going to put my feet here so you guys can see that this is super spacious there is a lot of space for passengers in the rear and it feels airy it feels roomy it feels big and it's very very comfy so nice little roof here we've got some speakers behind us and very nice pillows that is awesome i have to say the interior quality the the luxurious feel um combined with like this space age design with these little accents the lighting the lighting behind this panel here and then we've got the burmester audio and all this wood trim i mean this is just just look at this like square meter of stuff you've got this gorgeous like suede ish material this is all man-made so it's not real leather or suede but it's all mega soft this is actually space gray this color and then you've got that macchiato beige right there man i like this i really really do i think this is one of the nicest interiors i've been in in a long time feels mega all right so opening up the rear show you guys that as well we've got a lot of space because you have a hatchback, of course you can lower the rear seats as well. And that means that you have even more all super light carpeting as well. And then the rear end, as I said, it is the most aerodynamically efficient car. And that is mainly because of this droplet shape at the rear. Apparently you need a long car to have a car that is as aerodynamically efficient as possible. Beautiful rear lights as well with a light bar and these beautifully shaped light units eqs 580 4matic so this is the most powerful and the fastest version you have right now and i'm wondering what's underneath the front can we open that i don't think so no okay so you can't open that that is where everything is the motor and then what is that oh that's for the window washers that's kind of strange and cool and then at the other side we've got the charge port right there so uh, we've got a 108 kilowatt hour battery and then you can charge it up to 200 kilowatts at a fast charger so We've got the regular 400 volt architecture, so we don't have the 800 volt you get in like uh, Hyundai's and Porsche's. But this is basically the most optimized version of that 400 volt architecture. And there are a few things that they really worked on. One is of course that aerodynamic drag coefficient, the lowest of any production car. And then also the lowest friction all moving parts have been optimized to roll as smoothly as possible and that is really amazing combined with that 
low drag. You can choose how much energy recuperation you want and that is how they made this car so efficient. So we're going to talk about that a bit more while driving of course. Now let's turn it on by hitting the button. Uh, it's also supposed to have like an automatic door opening feature but I don't think we have that today which is a shame. Okay so this of course is <laughs> Very, very cool to see. Uh, it is called the Hyper Screen and it basically consists of three separate screens behind one big slab of glass. And it is made by LG and it is the most efficient it can be. So apparently white stuff on the screen, uh, that is the most energy consuming and so they designed everything to make it as efficient as possible that is how far they've gone to make this car as efficient as possible which is really cool now you've got a screen right there so if someone sits here i don't know if i can fake that i can okay so you can see that the passenger can do a lot of stuff as well with this touchscreen and he can operate basically anything that is in here as well. But when you don't have anyone next to you, you can't operate it. See, so that is super clever. The system, the MBUX system is still pretty okay. I don't really like the response of the touchscreen. It, it's a bit laggy sometimes and doesn't really work that well. Um, but we do have a lot of stuff in here and I wanted to show you guys. I don't know if he actually can hear this if the mic of the GoPro is picking this up. So we have sound experience. And you have three different versions. Every one has like a different feel. And there's like constantly a sound in the cabin. So it's different for each version and i really like it i don't it feels so futuristic so we're going to the silver waves one is not really great the vivid flux is super awesome and then you have roaring pulse which is a bit more sporty so i'm going to let you guys hear that um we're going to do a couple of draggy measurements as well so the 0 to 100 we're going to do and the 100 to 200 later on as well and uh, well, let's take it for a drive. Let's see what it feels like. Absolutely gorgeous dashboard, really love it. With these super nice vents, with that turbine design. And then we've got the Burmaster Audio, as I said, with this little tweeter, which is also really cool. And it is one of the most silent cars I've ever been in. It is in insane so there's a lot of sound deadening in this car um, for instance of course in the interior but also in the a pillars the tires have been shaped in a way that they are the most efficient and most silent they can be because you don't have engine sound so you start hearing a lot of other stuff like wind noise and tire noise but this is amazing all right so let's do a zero to 100 here which gives me the opportunity to also let you hear what it sounds like that that sound experience so I, I won't do a screen recording but I'll just do a speedometer cam all right so uh, sport mode here we go and full throttle <laughs> Listen to that. That those noises. It sounds like something from from Blade Runner or Tron. I love it. I absolutely love it. I think it's so clever because the like it, it's so much better than the like fake sound stuff you get sometimes. That was a 4.16 second 0 to 100. And it's supposed to do 4.3 seconds. So that works out well, I would say. In these conditions, super wet and slippery. So.
So driving wise, what does it feel like? Well, it feels massive. It is a big car. You sit high up, but you've got air suspension as standard. So it is super comfy. Uh, we've also got four wheel steering up to four and a half degrees as standard, but we've got the extended optional 10 degrees. So that is a lot. And it is so comfy. It is so quiet and plush and soft and floaty. It feels amazing. As I said, you do feel the weight sometimes. Let me just show you guys the rear wheel steering. So check out that. That is a lot of angle. I always like it when I can show that because it looks so weird. Now let's change to Roaring Pulse. So this is more uh, a deep and sporty sound. And it sounds a bit ominous. It sounds like the bad guy's spaceship <laughs> and the vivid flux. This is the good guy, right? <laughs> I really love that. I really love the like hyper modern, almost science fiction approach to this car. I, I, I think it works so well combined with the like old world luxury you feel when you drive this car. It's a very clever thing. It's a very, it, it works really well. But you can even also choose to have a like an old school dashboard. So this hyper screen, you don't have to have it, which I think is clever to also offer that. Now, top speed is limited to 210 kilometers an hour. Unfortunately, as I said, we are getting a high performance AMG version later on with 762 horsepower. So I guess that one will be like the, the Tesla Model S Plaid or take and turbo s competitor but the range of this car is super impressive so apparently you should be able to do like 770 kilometers on a charge which is a lot and then under ideal circumstances you can also charge uh, like 300 kilometers of range in 15 minutes so we are getting very close to just filling up your car in terms of time um, so that was a 11.5 100 to 200 we're going to do that again and this time I'm going to keep my foot down I'm going to select no energy recuperation with the pedal here and then after we hit the top speed, I'm going to release the throttle now and show you how insanely free this car rolls and how little resistance there is. I mean, it is insane the, the low friction feel you get in this car. Uh, that was 11.3 second 100 to 200 kilometers an hour so it is a quick car and i've done a couple of runs already and it doesn't seem to suffer from overheating too quickly so that is good so still i i released the throttle at 210 and we're still at 142 kilometers an hour and that is like a couple of kilometers ago It's really insane. I've never experienced this before. Now, uh, for instance, we're driving along and you're like, okay, this car is going to go left. So we want to slow down a little bit, but not too much. You hit the down pedal. It starts recuperating energy by slowing down. And then if you want this one, the third setting is basically one pedal drive. So when I release the throttle, it immediately brakes and recuperates energy but i like this no recuperation thing i like sailing because i think it's also the more efficient way to go because you're not wasting energy 
and this car does it like no other it is truly amazing to feel how well it still rolls it just it just feels like it's it's so easy I know I haven't talked too much about the whole MBUX system, but it, this is not too uh, groundbreaking. It, it's more like the interior design and the drivetrain, of course. Drivetrain feels amazing. It feels beefy, it feels strong. 524 horsepower is quite a bit, and with that formatic. <laughs> yeah, it feels really solidly built. It feels basically like it's Maybach adjacent, this car. The Maybach from the future. And I can't get enough of all these sounds. Is so cool I absolutely love that it is an incredible car I'm not sure it's as groundbreaking as a regular s-class usually is uh, because tech wise drivetrain wise electric motor wise it's not really that groundbreaking it's not new stuff it's basically the things we already know executed in a very very impressive way and I really like that. It feels like this is a serious competitor to like all the established electric cars. While the EQC and the EQA, it, it felt a bit like a half-assed attempt. And it felt like they, they were late to the party and decided to build a couple of electric cars. But this all feels amazing. All this open pour wood, all the, the faux leather basically, and this stuff, man. What an impressive car, absolutely love it. So that's it for this review, hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video on the right or go check out this playlist on the left. See you at the next one, bye.